everyone, I hope you guys are well and welcome to my first video of 2015. I'm starting the new year off by filming my 2014 beauty favorites. I have so many to go through with you guys. I have makeup, hair, skin, nails, fragrance, like the whole shebang. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. But first of all, let me know in the comments below your 2014 favorite, your one. If you had to pick one of the whole year, let me know in the comments because I'm gonna definitely be feeling spendy when I read those. <laughs> I'm gonna start everything off with makeup and I'm starting this whole video off by cheating because I have three in the first category already but I promise the rest of the video I've been pretty good and narrowed it down to one favorite but for foundation I couldn't I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't pick between the three. My first favorite is L'Oreal True Match Foundation. It's a great drugstore foundation. It photographs really beautifully, lasts really well on the skin, blends really seamlessly, as well as Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. They're kind of really, really similar, except Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk has a better shade range, I feel, and also lasts a tiny touch longer on my skin. And then there's also by Terry Terribly Danceless, which is like flawless skin in a bottle. If ever you have a bad skin day, it kind of smooths over everything it's especially great with pores and just making skin look pretty pretty awesome I've actually done a blog post comparing all the three so if you want to know more about the three and the comparison of all of them I'll link that blog post below if I had to pick one concealer it would be one that I could like do an everything with like an under eye a redness and a blemish like an all-in-one kind of concealer so for that it would be the NARS creamy radiant concealer it's really high coverage but has a really light texture as well and it works well covering redness and it lasts really well on the skin. I put this in a little category of its own. This is the Tarte CC Under Eye Corrector. If you have blue bags under your eyes or under your eyes tend to get a bit gray, this is amazing. It's kind of like a salmon-y color, so it really helps like counteract everything, brighten everything up under there, and it doesn't crease as well. Moving on to these things that are on my face. These are my brows, <laughs> in case you didn't know. That wasn't funny. And this is my winner for brows this year. This is the Kiko Brow Pencil. It's really thin. It really reminds me of the Anastasia Brow Wiz that I think was my brow favorite last year. Because the pencil's so thin, it really helps get in all those gaps, and the color looks really natural as well. The one downside about this, though, is I think there are only around four shades. I use the shade too. Another brow love, this is the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper. This is kind of like a tinted brow gel but it has little fibers in it so it helps keep the hairs in place and then also gives you a little bit of a tint so in case you're having a lazy brow day, can't be bothered to use the pencil, this works really well because it just adds like a hint of color, brings your brows a bit like to life and a little bit more bold but it's just a really easy step. I have a blush weakness, okay? I actually have like a whole drawer <laughs> in my vanity just for blush so narrowing down blushes was almost as hard as narrowing down foundation. So I have a powder and a cream, and the powder is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blushes. What I love about these is that they have a really gorgeous color in them, but they also add a lot of illumination to the cheeks without being too shimmery or sheeny. They just add a kind of whatever color it is plus glow. So this one is like a peachy glow, and this one is like a pinky glow. They have a really nice like medium amount of pigmentation where you can build them, but if you sweep your brush in it a couple of times, it will never be too much. A cream blush, the Max Factor, Miracle Touch Creamy Blush. This is awesome. It's like a tiny little dinky pot. It's like the size of my eye. But the formula of this is what makes it like a total winner because it's not too wet that it looks like almost dewy on your skin, it, but it's not cream to powder that it looks too powdery either. It's like a nice kind of middle ground where it just looks like skin. 2014 was the year I discovered waterproof mascara. I never normally used it unless I was like going to a hot country, but waterproof mascara and I just really got on this year at holding the curl, keeping my lashes looking fresh and not kind of flaking or smudging around my face. And the one that I definitely have repurchased the most this year is the L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly Waterproof Mascara. The wand on this one has a really funny shape, but it really helps get to grips and like really cling on to every little lash you have, really help lengthen them without looking too clumpy. Can you tell that I like these? I own about every shade in the range. Oh gosh. These are from by Terry. They're their Ombre Black Stars. They're essentially eyeshadow sticks, and I love the Kiko eyeshadow sticks. They last just as well, but I find the shade range of By Terry is what made me choose them for my all-time favorite. The pigmentation of these is like out of this world. You need one like really light swipe. There's no need to like 
tug them against the eyes. Colors are super unique. They have this almost pearly look to them that really helps open up the eyes and make them look like whiter and brighter. And they never ever crease on me as well. So that is my first eye favorite. My second eye favorite was a bit of a hard one to choose because I love palettes so much. But when I had to pick a favorite palette that I've loved the most this whole year, it had to be the Lorac Pro palette. You can see this is one of my most well-loved palettes this year. This has every single shade a smoky eye lover would need, like a neutral smoky eye lover, let me correct myself. You have a row of shimmers and a row of mattes. It's basically been my most reached for palette this year. The pigmentation of these are buttery, buttery, buttery times 100 buttery smooth. Like they are out of this world. The colors aren't chalky or anything either. They're super blendable and I just love, love, love the shade range. I'm just completely head over heels in love with this palette if you couldn't tell. <laughs> Even though I have mentioned eyeshadows I couldn't go through the video without mentioning these and as you can tell I love them a lot as I bought every single shade that I could. These are the L'Oreal Colorish L'Ombre Pure eyeshadows. They basically have the color payoff like a loose eyeshadow would but they're in pressed form. Some of the colors have a really metallic sheeny finish to them so they look super eye-catching once they're on your eyelids and they're just generally awesome like the pigmentation, the blend of it, the longevity of them, everything gets an A star. You didn't think I was gonna go through my whole 2014 favorites without mentioning my Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. The bronzer color's perfect. It's not too orange that you look like an Oompa Loompa, an Oompa Loompa, an Oompa Loompa, and it's not too ashy that you look muddy either. Charlotte's just got the color of this like perfect times 100. And the highlight shade's super golden. It's really, really flattering. It's what I'm wearing on my cheeks right now. It just gives like a perfect lift to the skin. Mattifying my face, the one product that I've definitely reached for the most this year is my Bourjois Healthy Balance Powder. It's not a mattifying powder that just like makes your skin look flat or cakes up the more you apply it. It's super lightweight but still does the job at getting rid of any shine or grease. I have three favorites for my lips. The first one is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat and Pillow Talk. This is basically the product that converted me onto lip liner. It's such a perfect pink. I've basically been wearing it like throughout this whole year. I think this is my third or fourth. It just evens out my lips, makes them look full and plump and juicy and I love the finished result I get when I use this. The gloss, my favorite discovery this year have been the NYX Butter Glosses. They use the word butter in here, okay? They really mean it. Like, these are so smooth, they're not sticky, they're super hydrating, they don't dry out your lips, and they're just such a pleasure to wear. And that isn't a kind of sensation that I normally get with glosses. Choosing an all-round favorite lipstick was a hard one, but I got it down to the YSL Rouge Volupte and Rouge Volupte Shine. They're basically like pigmented balms, but with amazing colors, amazing staying power. They kind of leave a stain after they wear off around the six hour mark. They smell really good, they're really buildable, and they're really hydrating as well. 2014 was where I got closer to the winged eyeliner perfection level. P winged eyeliner perfection was here. That's 2014 was the year I kind of came to there. We're not quite there yet, but <laughs> we're getting somewhere. The one eyeliner that I reached for the most was the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. It's black and then black. It lasts all day and night on my eyelids, and it has a really fine brush hair-like nib, so it's really easy to get to the root of your lashes and do a really thin line or make it a bit thicker as well. Be right back, just having a rich tea and dairy milk chocolate break. <laughs> There hasn't been a makeup wearing day this entire year that I haven't used a cleansing oil to take off my makeup. And my favorite one this whole year has been da -da -da -da, the Body Shop Chamomile Silky Cleansing Oil. This is probably my fifth of these because I'm just that obsessed with them. You just take a pump of this, massage it into dry skin, even into your eyelashes, into waterproof mascara and everything, rinse it off with water and it just melts away your makeup. For sorting out rough skin, nothing does it for me like the Clarins Blue Orchid Face Treatment Oil. If ever I have any redness, my skin's feeling a bit angry or like spots or that time of the month or just anything or dehydration, like any skin problem basically, this just sorts it out. I apply a couple of drops overnight and in the morning my skin just looks so calm and radiant and just generally happy. It just soaks this stuff up. Especially when it comes to spots and dehydrated skin, this is a complete miracle worker. My skin's quite dehydrated so I do like to do an extra boost of hydration a lot of the time. So the Glam 
Glam Glow Thirsty Mud has been my savior this year. Just take a tiny bit of this, a little bit goes a seriously long way. Apply it to dry skin, leave it for either 20 minutes or overnight. It just kind of gives your skin an extra plumpy, juicy feeling and just evens out the texture, makes everything look full and lifeful again. <laughs> lifeful, is that a word? For moisturizer, my La Roche-Posay Tolerian has got to be my most reachable moisturizer this year. It's just like a no fuss, really simple moisturizer. It does the job, keeps everything hydrated, works as a great base for makeup as well, and it doesn't interfere with my skin or break me out. The best dry shampoo I have ever used is the Colab dry shampoo. It's much less powdery than your average dry shampoo, but still manages to soak up the grease and the oil and give you a little bit of grit and volume at the same time. For getting some volume in my hair, there are two products, one that I use when my hair is wet and one when I use when it is dry. And the wet one is the Dove Oxygen Moisture Root Lifting Spray. It has this funny little nozzle here and I just section off pieces of my hair and literally spray it throughout all my hair and then when I come to blow dry it my roots aren't kind of like flat and limp anymore and it does that without making my roots look greasy or anything and then my Orbe dry texturizing spray which I have loved for years this one is pretty much empty yeah it's kind of empty basically is like back combing in a bottle it gives you like a lot of lift in your roots a lot of grit it just basically makes your hair look twice the size with a couple of sprays <laughs> For body, there's one brand that stole my heart this year, and that was Mio, because every single product I've tried from them, I think I've tried five products from their range, it's a body care brand, and every single one I've just fallen in love with. Shout out goes to their double buff exfoliator. It's a really fine exfoliator, but it really does the job at like getting rid of whatever's on your skin, but it doesn't leave your skin dry. It actually leaves your skin feeling pretty smooth and hydrated. The Activist Firming Body Oil and the Future Proof body butter as well. Both of those are incredible. I also love their liquid yoga bath soap because it has a lot of eucalyptus in there. Smells so, so good. And also their workout wonder. My favorite fake tan has been my time-saving fake tan and this is the Saint-Tropez Self Tan Express three hour fake tan. You basically apply it, leave it on for three hours. That is all you need to do. You're now nice and bronze. You don't need to sleep in your fake tan and have orange sheets or anything. It's a total time saviour, but it still gives you that golden glow. My Diptyque Eau Duel is literally, I think I have like a millimeter of fragrance left in here. I cannot tell you how many compliments I get when I wear this fragrance. It's really warm, it's really sweet, but it's quite vanilla-y and woody at the same time. It doesn't really fall in like a summer or winter category fragrance, which is why I love it, because I definitely, as you can tell, have <laughs> been wearing it the whole year round. For tools, I've done a whole blog post on my top 10 brushes, so I'll link that blog post below. But another one I wanted to mention was my Beauty Blender sponge. I run this under cold water, squeeze it in a couple of times, it kind of expands a little bit, and then I either use this to blend in the concealer under my eyes or with my foundation. But the results are worth it because it just makes everything look super flawless and blend and mesh really nicely with your skin. Oh, I just said mesh. You can probably tell throughout this video that when I like something, I buy it in every single color <laughs> that ever existed. <laughs> and that is pretty much what happened with the Maybelline Superstay 7 Day Nail Polishes. Since I discovered these, I think it was in May, I've pretty much had one on my nails since then. I think I've strayed twice and my nail polish only lasts a couple of days and then I was like, screw it, I'm going back to the Maybelline polishes. When they say seven days, they mean like eight or nine days. I currently have the shade Divine Wine on my nails and this is the seventh day and there's not a chip in sight. I had to pick one non-beauty favorite and that one is going to be vlogging because I feel like 2014 was the year I really got to grips with vlogging and I just enjoyed it so much and like sharing different aspects of my life with you guys and interacting with you guys in a different way and I'm actually vlogging right now so I might just do this. I'm going to leave a playlist of all the vlogs I've done this whole year in the information box below for you guys. Definitely go and check it out because I have vlogged the whole of December pretty much and little random snippets throughout the year. I'm going to leave any reviews I have on all the products I've mentioned in the information box below as well, as well as all my social media links. So definitely go and check me out if you're not already on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and happy start of 2015. I'm going to do my first piano wave of 2015. This is very exciting so I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you in my next video. Until then!
My first favorite I've pretty much been wearing like daily this month. This is MAC Plum Full. It's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. The formula of MAC Luster lipsticks I love. A cloud in the sky. You guys have to look at this, like spot the clouds because there is none ever. So we're a bit late in the morning to hit the slopes so we're gonna go and meet my cousins who are somewhere around here. I'm trying to find them. 